So I'm Marissa Carbonell, I'm the principal of Federal Terrace Elementary in Vallejo, California. We are a medium-sized urban elementary school. Our students uh, are, are pretty similar, socioeconomically speaking, they're on the, on the lower end. 30% um, African American, about 30% Latino, and about 30% Asian, different varieties. Um, our students are, are on the lower socioeconomic side of, of things. Um, you know, our family struggles. I think what I like the most about our, our choir program is the enthusiasm that our students show for it. Um, our, our attendance is up on the days when, we, when students know that uh, Casey's coming. The kids are excited about it. Uh, they look forward to it. And the thing that, that I'm noticing the most is students that, the shy ones, the quiet ones, the, you know, the boys who pretend to be tough. They're, I'm seeing a whole other side of them. They're opening up. And it's just, it's almost night and day with some of those shy, quiet, tough guy type kids. I, it's gotten to the point where discipline, discipline has gone down. Any issues with my, with my girls, and girls tend to be very emotional in fourth and fifth grade. I don't have that. I don't see that. Um, that's big. graders really wanting to help the younger ones, the younger students, be it in the cafeteria. It's like this willingness to help. Um, and I don't know, and I attribute it to choir because I, it just, it just, it's opening up my students in a different way. And, I, and it's kindness almost. Um, it, you know, our school rules are be safe, be respectful, and be responsible, but there's this, this kindness that's coming. And I, I totally attribute it to choir because, I mean, I, I see how the kids behave in there. They don't ever make fun of each other because of the way they sing in choir. They come out of there happy. And I think it's rubbing off. So darling, darling, stand by me. Oh, stand. I have um, students who struggle academically. I'm thinking of three immediately in my head uh, who are, they get tutored in the morning, they get tutored in the afternoon. Academics is not their strong suit. And so, you know, I, I, see, I see them in class struggling. They kind of seem turned off. But since Miss Casey, since choir, um, these three that I'm thinking of in particular have opened up to where even the classroom teacher says, you know what, Susie, you know, who struggles in math and isn't reading very well, is singing in choir. And everyone in the class is amazed they didn't know she had this voice because academically speaking in the classroom, she doesn't have a voice. But come choir, she's shining. You know, and it's happening for not just Susie, it's happening for... I mean, I don't know where that comes from. Um, I don't know if it's just the joy of singing that, I mean, how many of us, or how many of these kids nowadays get the opportunity to have something as joyful as singing at school? Yeah. Yeah. 